and to set upon. Turn your ear, O Lord, and answer me. Save the servant who trusts in you, my God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may the grace of Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us come before the Lord, acknowledge our sins, so we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, bless Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true happiness is found through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Thessalonians. We have been reassured about you, brothers and sisters, in our every distress and affliction through your faith. For now we live if you stand firm in the Lord. What thanksgiving then can we render to God for you, for all the joy we feel on your account before our God? Night and day we pray beyond measure to see you in person and to remedy the deficiencies of your faith. Now may God himself, our Father, and our Lord Jesus direct our way to you and may the Lord make you increase and abound in love for one another and for all, just as we have for you, so as to strengthen your hearts, to be blameless in holiness before our God and Father at the coming of our Lord Jesus with all his holy ones. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. Fill us with your love, O Lord, and we will sing for joy. You turn man back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past are as to watch of the night. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. And may the gracious care of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands for us. Prosper the work of our hands. Fill us with, with your love, O Lord, Lord, and we will sing for joy. joy.
Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken in two. So too, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Who then is a faithful and prudent servant whom the Master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at a proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his Master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant said to himself, My master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servant and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be whining and grinding of teeth. Dear brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. We know when Jesus uh, preached in his public ministry, and he always uh, really demand immediate response. And also, Jesus also preached about his coming. Of course, uh, in our faith, we believe that Jesus, yes, he came into the world, and then Jesus uh, suffered and died, and resurrected and set it into heaven. And we also believe that Jesus reveal, also revealed to each of us that he is second coming. And that Jesus often alert his uh, disciples, be prepared, and because you do not know the hour the Son of Man will come. Indeed, that's a part of our faith. Actually, from the very beginning, the early disciples, they believe in their lifetime that uh, Jesus could return. And uh, they have been preparing for uh, Jesus' return. And uh, still, uh, even today, we know any, at any time, uh, Jesus asks us, always prepare uh, for his return. Of course, in this lifetime, we could prepare. Yes, Jesus will return. We don't know when. And we could be prepared for his return. And also, we also prepare another way. We return to God and because we do not know the hour that we are going to see the Lord. So that's a, a way also Jesus asks us to always prepare uh, for his coming, either at our uh, death or really Jesus at his second coming. And uh, Jesus also asks us, uh, actually, that's part of our spiritual life, always be alert that Jesus coming in our daily life at every, mo at every moment. So if we are not prepared and we do not really know how to respond to God, 
and respond to Jesus coming into our life and daily. And then they may be as blessing that Jesus coming in blessing, blessing given to us. Sometimes we just take it for granted when we do not even thank God for that blessing. Maybe sometimes uh, suffering or um, uh, turmoil coming into our life. And if we are not prepared, we also do not know how to really respond to that uh, difficulty or that hardship or even turmoil happening in our life. And for those people who have strong faith, always have a proper response to the Lord's coming, no matter in what kind of form or no matter when uh, coming into our life. That's why um, prayer and Jesus asks us to be alert, to be vigilant, and to stay awake. How do we do that? That is really through our prayer and through our really knowing God, knowing Jesus Christ, and uh, also here at uh, daily Mass. We come here and so that we have a really awakened heart and so that no matter when Jesus come, uh, we can respond to Jesus uh, in a very grateful way uh, with a heartfelt thanks for Jesus Christ. So indeed, the Lord have prepared different things in our life. And Lord comes in an uh, unexpected uh, way in our life. And but, uh, we, uh, if we are not prepared, and uh, we do not know how to welcome him into our lives. So let us uh, come to the Eucharist celebration and uh, hear Jesus come to each of us. And uh, and sometimes uh, if we are not prepared, if we are not awake, awake here even at the celebration of the Eucharist, and uh, the Lord will probably just pass by and we do not welcome him properly into our heart. Now let us come to the Lord with an awakened heart and uh, give God thanks, give Jesus thanks for he is here with each of us. Let us uh, be awakened and uh, welcome Jesus into our life at uh, this Eucharist celebration. We are called to be watchful in prayer at all times with trust and confidence. Let us pray to God for all our needs. Let us pray that we may take to heart the warnings to be always watchful for the coming of the days of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the grace to be faithful servants of the Lord, attentive to our daily duties, and working to the best of our abilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for a greater sense of honesty in public life, that we may in no way condone stealing and robbery as uh, acceptable in our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the gift of temperance. We pray for all who are victims of alcoholism and for their families and friends. And we pray for all who educate the young to the dangers of drug abuse. Let us pray to the Lord. And we pray for all all the people who are suffering from the pandemic and for, especially for those people who are infected. And we pray for Gilbert, Gilbert and uh, pray for his recovery and pray for his family. Let us pray to the Lord. 
And we remember all our beloved deceased. And we pray for Elisa Chen. Let us pray to the Lord. We also pray for the safety of all those people stranded in Afghanistan. And may God keep them safe. Let us pray to the Lord. Now in the silence of our heart, we offer our own personal prayers. For the prayers in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Grace and loving God, we come in to you at this moment to offer all our prayers and all our needs. May you hear them and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless me, God, forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. For praise and glory of God's name, for the good, good of his holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you form it anew. And so it is right that all creatures serve you, and all the redeemed praise you, and all your sins with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too for you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy, therefore, this gift we pay by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and I eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. For the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sautori, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should end under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. The earth is repleted with the fruit of your work, O Lord. You bring forth bread from the earth and wine to cheer the heart. Let us pray. Complete within us, Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things 
we may please you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our message is ended. Go in peace. Thank you all for joining the mass. Have a blessed day.